Hello and welcome to this Sunday, December 28th, 2025 edition of the Sands and then it's Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And this episode is brought to you by the Sands.edu Undergraduate Certificate Program in Cybersecurity Fundamentals. Sadly, we do have, well, a little bit one of those special Christmas presents that we got here that required me to do, after some reconsideration, a special podcast. I at least want to get it out there and make you decide whether or not this is something that's important or critical for you. The problem here is MongoDB. On the 24th, a patch was released for MongoDB. So, well, a Christmas gift patch. Problem was that this patch also fixed a critical vulnerability in MongoDB, a memory leak issue or a, really a memory disclosure issue. The vulnerability is a little bit like heart bleed. So what's happening here is that MongoDB does accept BSON formatted data. BSON binary JSON. So it's not JSON. It's sort of a more binary encoded form of JSON that also allows for compression. Well, with compression, we always have the issue that the length of things change as it's being decompressed and we have to track this. Uh, usually, you know, this has in the past uh, caused many, many buffer overflows. This one is different where the buffer size being reported back is actually the size of the entire allocated memory, not just the size of the memory that was actually used. And it's particular if a BSON file was parsed by MongoDB that, well, did lie a little bit about its content length. So what's happening with that extra memory? Well, it's going to be filled with essentially random allocated memory for the MongoDB process. That may contain any MongoDB data that's available there, including, of course, secrets like keys and the like, and uh, definitely you know, data that you don't want to leak. So a patch has been made available, sadly, with the patch. A uh, test case was published also that uh, was essentially a proof of concept exploit. So an exploit is available. The exploit is also not terribly complicated. Really just adjusting a length field in BSON data that you're sending to MongoDB will do the trick. Apparently, exploitation is also already underway. If you do have MongoDB, exposed to the internet, assume someone already is working on trying to apply this exploit to your vulnerable instance. My number one recommendation here would be don't expose MongoDB. Uh, never really got the fascination that people have with exposing all these NoSQL databases to the internet. I would have never done that with a SQL database, but uh, I guess uh, no SQL, there's other things that you don't need if you don't need SQL. So uh, that's why people expose to the internet. Um, in particular with MongoDB, there are some ways how you can use JavaScript, for example, to access directly, uh, which uh, is, I think, one of the reasons why people are tempted to expose it uh, like this. So make sure that you aren't exposing MongoDB. It is included in a lot of other projects and uh, other pr products. For example, Unify and their controllers uh, does include MongoDB and a bunch of other systems like that include MongoDB sort of as a database. So even if you aren't familiar with MongoDB, certainly it may be running in your network, even though if it's not exposed, if it's not exposed, then, of course, the vulnerability is less severe. It's more difficult to exploit. Then, of course, depends on how it is exposed. Is it just to the local network or just on loopback? These are sort of some of the considerations that matter to figure out how critical this issue is for you. Assume all versions of MongoDB, I think back to 3.6 I've seen. So really all versions that are currently realistically in use are vulnerable if they haven't been patched within the last week. Anyway, just want to get this out here. I'm not sure if I'll do another a podcast before the new year. If not, then hope all goes well and you don't have to start the new year with an incident based on this MongoDB vulnerability. Oh, and one thing I do want to mention is if you do feel like you have been attacked and you have some incident here, this is not about running arbitrary code on your system. This is about stealing credentials. So you definitely, if you find an exposed unpatched MongoDB instance, 
changing rotating credentials is really critical here and you know, looking at what data MongoDB touched here and um, what potentially you know could be an issue here if it's being leaked. Uh, that's really how you have to approach this. So uh, command execution may come later using some of those credentials, but uh, at first, these credentials will be what the attacker is after. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again. Well, hopefully not this year, but maybe one more this year and uh, then another one after the new year.